These are some of the bold men that confessed to WBS how they practice prostitution to earn a living. According to them, the illegal habit in Uganda has taken them places and the boast of many achievements. I finished my form 6 last year and I've the been paying my school fees from sex work. I've been able to have my own house, I'm renting. Uh, I've been able to acquire a few things from sex work. People may decide that me instead of doing another work, I'll use my body to earn a living. And the reality is also the circumstances. I looked for jobs, but you know, in Uganda, even if it's a white collar, a white collar paying job, you find like being at my age, you need a laptop, you need what, you need what of of, of millions. Yeah? You find like your parents are so poor in Uganda, they can't afford that. How much is he thinks are like paying you tuition is, is is done. Yet you need a lot of things to do. It's these comments that have raised dust among the some religious leaders in the country, critical of this group. How can you say that I'm selling my body in order to earn a living? Where are you, why were hands created for? You have a head, you have uh, eyes, and all these limbs were made in order to, to, man, to, 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 you know, to give you capacity so that you can produce. How can you say that you are just selling your funny things in order to earn a living? That's, uh, that's, that's absurd. People's conscience are no longer working, especially when somebody loses a sense of saying, what do people say? What, what am I after? How are my biological relatives are going to feel on the condition I come out of this media as among of the sexual workers in the area? According to the clergy, parliament is to blame for such immorality since it has taken years to pronounce itself on matters threatening human values. It has done something good about the, the registration of border borders. I had also crushing all these chaosics on the roads and many other things. The question is, why not on these people? That behavior is un, really is unacceptable in our society. It's uncultured. How do we accept such a thing? In fact, Ugandans should raise up on the street. They also should pretend as if they are them and we beat these guys, they leave the street. That's against our cultural norms. I believe there is much that can be done outside legislation. It's like it's a moral character thing. So we expect the religious leaders to play their part. We expect the family leaders also to play their part. But Hamida Namatovo, a marriage counselor, defers saying that family leaders are to blame for such vices, since most of them are too busy to instill the desired values amongst their children. Matiza ne guba matiza bunaba ruadi. Kubanga guba matiza. Neyabu mubuza ya matiza munne kubai bebi ntu bili bia mirundi ebili. Ateka tonda wa yari akole bia ntu ebio. Akaboni na akala ganti unamatirono. Tekari munda mumibili jafi. Kari kumpi nyoku ngulu. Neyabu kutisize chintuwe chisemba yobu tonobuli mtu watuka kuntiko yomu A report released this month by Kampala Capital City Authority and the Alliance of Mayors and Municipal Leaders on HIV and AIDS in Africa. A non-government organization indicated that there are 45 spots hosting over 250 male sexual workers in Kampala alone. Each day that passes by, the vice is increasing among us Ugandans, and the more government delays to pronounce itself the matter will just create more problems. Shamim Batalwa, WBS News, Parliament.